Hey there, my name is Jeff Johnson. I'm the Chief Design Officer at Nested Knowledge. Today, I'm gonna show you our comprehensive software platform for conducting systematic literature reviews and meta-analyses. Let's dive right in. The first thing you need to understand about our software is that it's composed of two distinct parts which work closely in tandem. There's Autolit and Synthesis. Autolit is the workflow portion of our software. That's where researchers come in and complete all of the required steps to conduct a systematic literature review and meta-analysis. Synthesis is the visualization, sharing, and publication component to our software platform. So every change that's made within the Autolit side is reflected immediately in the uh, synthesis side. So you can think of it very simply as input and output. Let me show you Autolit first. The first step in a systematic review is to conduct your literature search. The goal of a literature search is to pull in all of the available literature on a particular topic of interest. In my example, I'm examining the efficacy of a balloon guide catheter as a treatment for stroke. So all of my searches are targeting literature uh, uh, from that, for that particular topic. Uh, you can also see here um, that I've got um, these searches running on PubMed, uh, and they run on a monthly schedule. This is enabled uh, by the fact that we have integrations with a variety of different search engines to allow you to pull in records automatically on a schedule, enabling you to keep your review up to date at all times. We do, of course, support uh, manual file imports, and you can even uh, pull in other sources, even non-clinical literature, um, though uh, our software is optimized for clin clinical literature throughout. Once you've completed your literature search, brought in any other sources you might need, um, then it's time to screen your literature search. In other words, you need to decide whether all of those records that were just returned by that literature search should actually be included in your review, or whether or not they uh, were irrelevant for a particular reason and therefore should be excluded from your review. You may also notice uh, that my particular nest is configured as a dual screening nest. We have a variety of different screening modes and modes throughout nested knowledge because it's an inherently collaborative platform. Research is a collaborative process, uh, though this nest could certainly have been configured in single screening uh, for sole researchers, individual researchers. Um, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that everything done in Autolit is reflected properly in Synthesis. So let me hop over to Synthesis and I will show you uh, the Prisma chart. The first thing I want you to notice about this visual is that it's downloadable, it's shareable, it's embeddable anywhere on the internet. So as the underlying data changes, in other words, as more records are returned on a monthly schedule from PubMed, or as new screening determinations are made over in Autolit by researchers, um, this diagram will continue to stay up to date at all times and doesn't require uh, that the researchers redo all of their work. All they have to do is stay on top of the uh, new literature as it emerges. So that would be enough right there to uh, conduct certain types of systematic literature reviews. Um, but of course, nested knowledge offers uh, more. In order to give researchers the tools to extract study level qualitative and quantitative data, nested knowledge offers two additional modules, tagging and extraction, respectively. Let's start with the tagging module. So tagging at its core is about identifying key concepts within each individual study that you've decided to include uh, during the screening step, right? So um, let's, for example, imagine I'm looking for an indication that this particular study is a retrospective cohort study, and uh, a previous researcher has already identified this concept here for me, so I know this tag has been applied. This is a retrospective cohort study. Now, tags in nested knowledge are extremely flexible and can be organized in a user-defined custom ontology. So if I go over to configure tagging, you can see all of the tags for my particular nest and uh, you can see that a researcher has come in 
and defined is uh, relationships uh, for each of these uh, tags. So for example, obesity is a comorbidity of population for this particular study. Again, entirely customizable and extremely flexible. So let's talk about extraction, right? Extraction is actually built directly on top of the tagging hierarchy. And so I can turn uh, some of these tags into what we call data elements. These data elements can then be applied in the extraction step. So for example, you saw previously that I had tagged uh, a study with distal emboli. Here is that same tag, and here is where my outcomes are, and then I can fill in uh, you know, this spreadsheet with all of my outcomes. Both of these modules, of course, can be visualized in synthesis, in qualitative and quantitative synthesis, respectively. So to see all of my tags, here are my tags in a sunburst diagram. And as I select these tags, I can see all of the studies to which that particular tag had been applied, uh, the abstracts for those studies, and any other associated data, all the way down to the search which returned that particular uh, study. Same is true of uh, quantitative synthesis. So in quantitative synthesis, I can see all of the uh, studies that uh, you know, were, were tagged with a particular um, outcome, and I can see various statistics that were gathered uh, through data elements. And um, all of this can be distilled into a, uh, you know, a, into a network meta-analysis, and I can see and compare uh, across interventions um, and have things like odds ratios computed automatically for me. And again, all of these things are updated when Autolit updates and can be shared on the internet allowing for truly living systematic reviews where researchers don't have to do redundant work and can publish uh, uh, studies that stay up to date. So that's Nested Knowledge. I hope you enjoyed my brief overview. There are a ton of other features I didn't get a chance to get into today. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you and we'd love to answer any additional questions you might have. Mm -hmm.